Hey, scholars and families, it's Miss Martin. So there have been a bunch of questions about how exactly to check school tool for grades and assignments as they're going. So I'm just going to show you how to do that. So this is the school tool website. You can access it right from the Syracuse City School District website. There's a yellow parent portal box. You can click it. It'll bring you to here. So some of you have set up your own username and password to log in so you can access all of your students at once or you can just log in with your student's username and password. And if you don't know what that is and you need access to it, just message the teachers and we'll help you out. So over here is where we're going to click username and password and then log in. From here, it's going to take you to your main page. So if you have more than one student, they're going to appear here. It just has their schedule on the front and their picture, not a lot of information. What you really want to do to start looking at their actual work is you're going to click where it says their name up here in blue that or you could click their picture if it's here. So what you really want to do is you want to click the name or their picture and that's what it's going to take you to their page that looks like this. So now we still have the schedule, but we also have some more information. We have address and phone number, which you can check are up to date to make sure you're getting information from the school when you need it. And then there's also the student ID. So if you're ever filling out anything and you're not sure what the, your student's ID is, it's right here. If you're looking at a teacher's data wall and you're not sure which one is your student, the last four numbers of this ID are their lunch number. So that's what most of our data walls use at Lincoln. So when you're looking at this, you might think you want to click this grades tab to look at their grades, but really what this grades tab is, is it's report card grades. So really what we're going to click is this assignments tab. This assignments tab will give you a rundown of all the assignments so far this marking period, their grades on them, and you'll even get averages for each class as grades are put in. So when you click that assignments tab, it brings you to something that looks like this. So you can see what course it's for. Here's all of the different categories. So is it homework, projects, participation, classwork, tests? So here's the categories, the assignment name and description, the date it was due, the maximum number of points they could get on the assignment, and then the score your student received on that assignment. There are two ways that we can look at a student's grades from here if you want averages. The first way is by clicking this All Courses button. It'll be a drop down of all of the classes, or you could click this little blue eye and you'll get like a little pop up of all of the averages for each class. So if you want to click the click down, you can or you could click this eye. Again, this eye, when you click it, will bring a whole pop up of all of the averages in each class at the moment. But if you wanted to, for example, check out math grades and click math seven here, it's going to bring up this. So when you're on it, it'll say math seven. The average will appear right next to that drop down menu. And then you can see the scores and the maximum scores for each of these assignments, a little description of each one. But the interesting thing is for this one, now if you click this little eye, it'll tell you their grade by category. So if you want to see, well, is my student doing really well on classwork and participation, but maybe not so good on tests? Clicking this little eye here once you're on a specific course is going to tell you that. So that's it on how we can check grades on school tools. So we can click the eye when it's on all courses, just get a quick average for everything, or you can even go course by course, get their average. Check here for what they're they are by category and even just look at individual assignments, which ones might be missing, which ones might they want to redo.